Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Miller, and I was says the autosave right at the beginning there. My name is Miller, and today we are going to be playing our Factorio free play campaign. Free play, not campaign. Um, why are you not working? Oh, that would do it. Arm was faced the wrong way. All right, now last time we got our potion automation set up. We got our defenses set up here on the right side, and we have our bullets going, which is nice. And then I think, where's our stone? It's been a day or... I think a day since I've played this. Yeah, so we have our stone going over here. How much do we have? Lots. So actually, we're going to grab this and set up a tiny bit more of a barricade just over here, right off the bat. And then we're going to be jumping in. Um, what I want to get done today is looking at kind of the higher tech tree. Oh, we have lots of stone. We might even be able to make it all the way over. No, probably not. Oh, yeah, easily. <laughs> Forget about that. Um, sweet, so that's awesome. That whole side's kind of blocked off. They can still come from below. Do we have any guns down there? Let's just check really quick to make sure we have some turrets. Are those turrets? Yeah, we have turrets, and they have lots of ammo. So, I think today we're going to look at the next potion. As well as, I kind of want to automate these moving, oopsies, moving over to our science facilities, or labs. So, to get our green potions, we need... Oh, I just made one. That's fine. Our transport belt and an inserter. Um, now, to get the transport belt, we need... Actually, this is perfect. We need just the gears and the um, iron plates right here. So, we could set up transport belt production right here. And then work from that. And actually, we need these gears for a couple other things. We might be able to make this work. What all do we need those gears for? Um, we need them to make the inserters as well, and then we'll need copper as well, copper wire, which will kind of branch off this way. But let's go ahead and start with the um, transport belts. Actually, that's a perfect amount of space, except... Hmm. Do we have our green... I guess I can just check here. Do we have our green hands yet? We do. Okay, this is going to work. So what we're going to do is I want to switch the side this is on. Where do I want to do this? Basically, I want these to... There. Yeah, that'll do it. I want these to be on the other side. Oh, that won't do it. Never mind. Um, I think these have to go all the way down and around to make this work. That's fine. There we go. You'll see why I did that in a second. I want those to be on that side so that we can put our product on the other side and be able to grab it with our green hands as I'll show you in just a bit. We have so much um, iron and copper plates in our inventory, which is great because we need our hands. Where are those? Oh, and what we want to get on today is actually our... Um, Tool belt. I think I'm going to do that right after um, the bullet damage which we have going right now, just so we can have a little more space to work with down here. I was playing a bit of my off recording um, game today, and I'm actually a little further in the sense that I'm still using the kind of gray assembling machines in my game. I'm just a little too lazy to upgrade them, but these ones are a bit quicker, which is nice. And then we're going to set these to track. I'm crazy. There we go. And see how this goes. Oh, we need output, right? These are all input. No, that's output. We need input for the to grab the gears. My electrical system could probably use some work. All right, so we have our transport belts. Doing good. Oh, okay. Um, let's go ahead and start this. I'm going to need some green potions, though. I think we need 50. Let's go ahead and make a ton. Oh, did I make a red potion there? I don't want that. Because we have a lot. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and throw these in our labs. Oh, we have some green potion made already. Convenient. Uh, oh, so we were just attacked here. Luckily, it uh, doesn't look like we took any damage. They didn't even touch the wall. That turret was already damaged before. So everything's going pretty well right now. Um, we have our 
production there going on, so we need to get our copper wire going so we can create these electronic circuits. Uh, that should be easy enough. I think what we're going to do is split off this. Hmm. We could get a little fancy here. Why not? Let's have fun here. Let's make... Do we have any splitters? No, of course not. Oh, jeez. Can't wait for us to read all the potions. Let's cancel all these potions. I've given you guys that rant before, how you have to be kind of careful what you make because it does backlog everything else that you're trying to create. We should have just made one, actually, so it made it a little quicker. Basically, my plan here is to run our copper... This is going to look super hectic, I think. But we're going to run our copper under here to line up with our uh, iron over here. We're going to have our copper wire made here, and then it'll mix with the iron plates to make our uh, computer chips, or what are they called? Science chips? Electronic circuits. I tried. It was kind of close. I have to go there, I think. And then we're going to use our belts. If you haven't seen my campaign um, play of this game, it gets pretty crazy. Uh, we're just playing through the kind of crazy belt levels. Again, that's not the title of them actually, but that's what I'm calling them. Uh, it's just basically you get a certain amount of um, transport belts and underground belts, and you have to move items from one side of the screen to the other side of the screen uh, with a bunch of twists, of course. It can't be that easy. Let's go ahead and take all this. Now, the reason I'm shutting down our bullet production here is it's, we have a lot of bullets already. I'm just going to go ahead and throw these green potions in here and then get on making more. We have a lot of bullets already, and then I want to make space here for our um, new production. And this area is just kind of conveniently set up for it already. Dang it. We need more transports. Uh, tracks. Every time I go to make something, <laughs> like a bunch of something, we suddenly need a bunch of something much smaller. That's fine. Um, oh wait, so there we go. Did we get our splitters yet? We did. Where are they? Oh. Yeah, up here. Okay. With that, now we have our copper coming this way. And then we'll be able to use that to make our wires. Uh, I think what we're going to do here is exactly what I was talking about before. Be a little cheeky with it. Let's make a bunch of these. Oh, shoot. I messed up. Okay, that's fine. We're going to want to... Um, How do we want to do this? Nope. We want this one to be the one that's coming in. So it'll be like... This. The reason I'm doing this is just to keep the copper at one side, of course. We've kind of talked about this before. Uh, same as I did up there with the... Um, gears here, to make sure that we only get the transport belts on one side. And so basically what we're going to do is set up these guys as our wire machines, or copper wire, and then we will set up, let's say three of them, we need a ton of wire I think, we need wire some, for some later game items as well, so we might as well have to get good production going right now, uh, you can stop that, and then we will grab um, one, two, three, to make our chips. Actually, we don't really need that many on chips. We can probably only have two on chips. You know what? Whatever. Let's better safe than sorry. Let's just have them all on chips. And then that's going to work. Oh. See, this is going to be a problem. So what we're going to have to do now is use our green hands. That's these guys. I don't think we have any. They will take a minute to make. And we're basically going to start pulling all the copper off right here. I'll show you how to do that, is we just put, oopsies, our iron chest here. And then the green hands, I can't remember if we used them at all last episode, we'll just, you uh, select what you want them to pull off, in this case, copper, and they'll start pulling it. Um, oh. No. This is a bad idea. <laughs> what we should do is have green hand here pulling 
wire. Then we won't get um, the constant flow of copper there. And then we'll have our wire up there, which is nice. Except we want it on the other side. I'm going to be super picky here. Just because I want it to work nicely. I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then we will be able to put a little bit of a loop into our um, will this do it? Yeah, that should do it. Into our track there. Perfect. And now we won't have to worry about um, these guys. So we'll just have them put the discs out on this side and then we'll do the exact same trick with the electronic chips to get our There we go. Uh, everything else going. So let's go ahead and put these here. And then set these guys to electronic chips. And there we go. Now we need to create the arm. These arms take electronic chips, iron plate, and gears. Luckily, we might be able to snatch the gears from here for that. Huh. How's this going to work? Yeah, so let's try and get real fancy here. And put another one of our green arms here for gears. And then we just need the electronic chip on here. So we'll grab, let's make a bunch of green arms, and then we'll start making some more potions. This going well? Oh, we only have one thing making copper wire over here. We'll have them all making copper wire. There we go. That should be better. Uh, and then we will have another green arm here to flip our chips over. Like that. And then we need the those. And then we just need our this. So I think if we go like this. Yeah, then flip this guy around. This is going to take a little more space than it needs to, but that's fine. We need more track. It's every time, man. Alright, let's cancel all that and let's make some more track. And then we will just move our electronic chips up, up on the other side and we're good to go. Where is our assemblers? Do we have any? No. So we'll make some more of those. Uh, overall, I think everything is going pretty well right now. Uh, it looks a little hectic as it is, but uh, you'll see in just a moment here. I think we should be getting our arms on this side, and then we'll be able to mix the arms with the tracks there to make the green potions. And they'll actually end up right beside our red potions, which is just where I want them. Do we have any of our assemblers yet? Man, these take so long to make. That's fine. I should have just grabbed some chips off the track there. Our gun reloading seems to be going fine. Do we have any... No, we don't have any stone walls. I was going to... Uh, finish up that barricade, but it should be fine. I think if they try to run around, they'll just be wrecked. Oh, wow, this takes a while. I didn't expect that. We should have, but oh well. How's our power doing? Power is doing all good. Uh, what's going on over here? Oops. Track's mixed up. We gotta keep an eye out for those things. We had a complete halt almost in our um, iron production just because of that. Oh, man, look at these waves, hey? The waves are already getting um, quite large, which is a little scary, but again, once uh, those turrets should be fine for now. Once the bugs start evolving, we'll have a little bit more to worry about. Right now, we can kind of rest easy, so we're going to have to actually bust in our wall here. But that's fine. The bugs, are, the bugs will have to run all the way around to get here anyways, so that should be fine. Not an issue at all, and then I don't think we'll be disturbing that guy. Uh, just a little bullet uh, drone there. <laughs> this is just going nuts, this chip. Um, okay, so... Oh, shoot. Once again, we want them on the other side. I know this might be getting a little bit confusing just how I'm doing this, but it is how it has to be. Nope, one more. Um, oh, we want them on the other side, actually. So this works fine. We'll have them go up like this. Yeah, there we go. Oops, I'm going to grab those. And then, that's good. 
Now we just need our assembly, or our inserters, I mean. And we will be almost done. We just need to set up one more. Uh, green chip in. Two in on this side. Right? Yeah, because we're making those. And then one out on this side. Hopefully we'll be able to power all this properly. Yep, no problem. And then we'll set these guys to mechanical arms and watch them go. So now we have inserters making more inserters, basically. And these are all going to pop up on this side, at which point, once again, we are going to see this green arm. Because he is... And luckily these things are very fast with the green arms. But he, it is going to... Oh, shoot. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Uh, I could just turn the end. Actually, this one to do all the way back there. Let's just go like that. Yeah, I don't want to have that space. <laughs> um, there we go. And we're gonna have another green arm over there. <laughs> I was just saying, luckily these things are pretty quick because we can have just one of the green arms on this entire track, even though we have three producing stations, and they pretty much keep up with them, which is awesome. <laughs> and then we are going to. Oh, how do we want to do this? We want it to... Hmm. I'm going to figure out how we're going to make this work properly. We could... Because oh, that'll not come on the right side. <laughs> Figuring out the sides to how everything works is like one of the most difficult parts of this game. Or just like make, figuring out the sides of the belt so you don't just mess up your entire line. At least early game. Later on, obviously, there's other things we have to worry about, but I think this should work. And then this will just grab conveyor belts. Right. I think we're good. Oh, shoot. I'm wrong. Um, it needs to be, like, there. Oh, well, that's fine, actually. We'll just set it up like that. So we'll get, take, get rid of one of these rows. Actually, that's fine, because we just got a ton of inserters, which I'm happy with. And then we'll just have this lock on there. Right? Perfect. We have a little overhang there of gears, but that's fine. And then we will actually... Oh, this will be kind of cute, I think. So what we'll be able to do here is... Set up our guys like this. And then have this track like this. Then expand this one. Mm, where's my chest? There we go. And then set up our green arms on the side like this. And then we should be good for green potions. I'm actually kind of happy with how concise or like how tight we kept all of that. Um, so yeah, the green potions, which again just take the inserter and the uh, transport belt, will now start being produced and yeah, push onto this. Perfect. And with that, our red and green potion production is done. Now what I'm going to do here is a bit of a trick. Not really a trick. One thing that I like to do um, with my oops, red and green potions, and that is that we're going to basically make them work around the science centers. I'll show you what I mean in a second. We're going to grab our science centers here, and basically by doing this we're going to have the science centers completely automated as well, just like everything else has been so far in this run through, or playthrough, um, to the point that we don't have to worry about them anymore. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And I think we're going to leave one, two, th well, one, two, three spaces there, just so we can add more science centers on. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, there. Again, so we can add more science centers on, we need more track. Um, unfortunately, our potions are going to get mixed up, actually. 
but that's fine. It's not that big of a deal. I think we have equal income of both green and red potions. The red ones are probably going to be a little quicker, but again, not the end of the world. Let me see about like this. And then the science center should now be... Oh, we don't want that. Setting themselves up. So yeah, they'll just grab the potions they need. I think they only stock up to two at a time of each potion, and then they'll just go. So actually now what we can do is make some more science centers. Five, one, two... Uh, should make seven. Might be a little overkill, but I don't mind. And then I think once these are done, we're going to call it a day. Now that we have our research properly set up. Now this is going to speed up the rest of the game quite a bit because we don't have to worry about making potions at all. For now anyways, um, later with the kind of late game tech, we'll have to worry about potions again. But right now we're doing pretty great. Oh, I'm just going to set up this cute little... Thing here. It's basically just to get potions back onto the inside of the track. Otherwise, they just clutter up, clutter up the outside, and they'll only sit on the one lane. By doing this, our grabbers will grab the potion, put it in that box, flip it over that box, and then flip it onto the inside lane. So they'll occupy both sides. And then let's set up our science machines. Did we leave space here? Of course we didn't. I thought we did. Oh well. That's my bad. There we go. And then we'll set up these guys. Set up these arms again. And I think we are pretty well off. Let's just set up our last science centers here. I keep not calling them science centers. I think they're just called labs. Same thing. I keep kind of thinking of science facilities from StarCraft, but that's fine. I'm a bit of a loser that way. Let's go ahead and set these up to be stocked. And unlimited research. Now what's awesome about our current setup is as long as our resources don't run out, which they very well could be kind of soon. Let's double check that. No, we have a ton of iron down here still. We have this, oh yeah, way too much iron. And then once this copper runs out, that's fine. We'll be able to go up here and mine our larger copper patch. Uh, way up here, we'll just set up walls and t turrets. And we are good. So um, if you are interested in playing this game at all, this is a setup that I like to have. Just have kind of the red, the red potions and green potions end together so that you can have the entire research section automated. And like I said, we don't have to touch. We could just sit here and get all of the red-green researches without touching anything. Assuming, again, our resources don't run out, which actually... Oh, we are low on power. Oh, wait, so objective one for the next episode is going to be to amp up our... We're getting attacked here power output. What's going on here? Why are we low on coal? Oh, because I flipped these around. Man. I'm terrible at keeping this well balanced. Let's go ahead and just throw a couple more on here. This isn't going to look pretty, but whatever. Alright, that should be fine for now. Um... Hopefully having that additional income... No, let's just throw coal in there right now just to speed it up. So I don't think we actually have to worry about our power next episode. I think that was just my bad in cutting the coal supply down for these things. Oh, I only put one in there. That's not gonna do. Okay, <laughs> third and final time. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. And if you do have any comments or anything feel free to leave them down below. We're just going to start a research before we end the episode, so don't forget next time. And I will see you guys next time.